Welcome to Manifest Recordings, the official platform for the behind the scenes of every song from every Manifest artist. Hope you enjoy. Well, first video podcast, Dude, guys. This is like, crazy. <laughs> like, like we're looking at you. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how are you guys doing? I hope that uh, I hope that you see us well, and I hope it looks decent. Uh, look, we have a banner. It's like legit and stuff. This is us. We're basically we're basically official, right? That's how it works. Yeah. Like you get a banner, camera, and it's, banner. What else do you need? I'm I'm pretty sure we're like one of the top podcasts already. Like I do. I just looked at it. We have a five star rating on Spotify. That's all I'm saying. And hey, if you wanted to contribute to that, you absolutely could. You absolutely could. You absolutely could. So please, please feel free. You know, um, only if you really like us yeah. and are our best friend, and you really want to be cool with us. That's it's it's true. Uh, and, and you know, if you're not watching, uh, hi in audio form again, but Facts. we're doing video now. You know, so Yo. like. You should check out video, but like if you just want to do audio, still that's cool. Yeah. That's that's I'm cool. I'm a big audio guy. Yeah, me too. Me too. I like when people don't just overdo the video part and forget about the audio part because I'm an audio guy. Yeah, I'm I'm at work. I'm in the car. Yeah, like yeah. help help a man out. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, bro. I feel you. Yeah. Um, but but here we are. We're back, Jake. Dude. We're this back. is the first time we've done any video because mm-hmm. I've done like little clips, but I haven't done a. This is the first full video, and then also like you're here, and so now it's like y'all get to see me and Jake, you know, do our thing. So we're here, here we man. Let's do it, man. Absolutely. So what are we talking about today? We talking about uh some new song, right? I got I a think, new song. I think we're talking about. I think it's called like flowers or something. I don't know. Man. Good old flowers. Good old flowers. This is. This is an interesting one because I when I made it, unsure. Was unsure. We're in a unsure. different headspace about it now, though. Unsure of what? Like, if it was good enough to go? Yeah. Word? Yeah, when I made it, I sent it to y'all. Mm-hmm. And I remember one one of the things that I said about it was, like, it feels like one of those songs that you tease and that you never release. <laughs> like, it's one of those that's like, ah, oh, this is cool, but, like, <laughs> but like we don't actually want the full song. But, like, yeah. that little part's a vibe. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I don't think that, like, this is going to come out on my artist profile and be, yeah. like, an official release, blah, blah, blah. But then I posted a story people really liked it and so i was like well i gotta drop it now i have to and i mean i enjoyed it and everything um but and then and then over time i did like a little bit of rewriting and stuff and like i really like this song like a lot more now than i did like right when i wrote it like Word. after a little bit of time yeah it grew on me Hell and i'm yeah. like nah this is it yeah so yeah i, I fuck with this song i, I do too song. bro i do too where, hey, do you, where are you feeling on it, like, in my discography? Or, like, in the singles in the so singles? far? Yeah. It's probably in, I would say, like, uh, definitely upper half. Okay. Probably closer to the top. It's not maybe top five-ish. Okay. But I definitely have, uh, it's going to be hard to beat Collegiate. Yeah, that's, real, real. That's, that one's crazy. Real. And Smoke With Me and FWB. Like, those are definitely, I think those are my top three okay. of the singles. Okay. Sweet, so, sweet, sweet. Yeah, hey, good info for me. Thank you. Absolutely, man. Um, hey, if you guys want to share, you know, your top three, your top five or whatever, please jump please down in the comments. Yeah, I think I'm, I, I'm, so, I'm like with you. I'm, yeah. I think I got like collegiate FWB. I think, I think flowers. Yeah. I think flowers. Word. I really like, is it like, mm-hmm. I, I really wrote on there. Yeah. I think, I think that's where I'm at. Yeah. I think that's where I'm at. I don't know, bro, because I'm po- I'm proud of the acoustic version of I Need You. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, that, I don't know. That's up there too, man. Dude, you know what's good. crazy about video? When I just said that, yep. I put a video in the clip. Oh, you're going to do that? Yeah. That's crazy. sick. Like, I like that a lot. Up, you know? I like that a lot. That's going to be awesome. <sighs> Hell yeah, man. Here we are, bro. We're here. Video format. Beautiful. Video format. Beautiful. Hey, bro, do you have a favorite flower? Do you have a favorite flower? Mm-hmm. Um... No, no. Word? No, I don't I don't really know flowers, bro. Like I don't I've bought flowers a couple times. Yeah. And most of the time or almost every single time has been from my mom. Word. <laughs> and like, yep, like I just that. I just buy whatever is calling my name at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. I know that my mom doesn't like roses, so I don't buy my mom roses. There you go. But other than that, you know, everything everything's game. Like whatever whatever is jumping out. Are you getting her flowers for Mother's Day? I I, I wasn't going to. But now, now that I'm now that I'm on the spot, yeah, I feel, I feel I'm, like I'm going to force you to do that. That's ouch! I just got <laughs> wow! I just got pressured. I just got pressured. Well, peer pressure. Uh, it succumb. happens. But yeah, no, I'll I'll do that. I'll, Word. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, you better for sure. I'm going to call sure. you on Sunday. Make sure. Do you have a favorite flower? Uh, sunflowers have always been my go-to. Okay, they're just so nice, tall. 
they, they are. face the sun. It's it, true. Like when you plant them in Minecraft, they always face. Like I think it's north or something. Yeah, it's nice, man. Yeah, I, that's. I, I, I love a good sunflower. It's how I know it, bro. Minecraft. Yep, Minecraft. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. Do you like uh, you like sunflower seeds or no? I feel like I've never had any. I'm sorry. Like, real are you talk? serious? Yeah, I don't think I had because you sp you spit out the shells, right? You've really never had some fun. Yeah, seeds right. Before. That's what I'm saying. Like I've had, I think I've had like pumpkin seeds. Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten sunflower seeds. I think I've always, because you do spit them out. Yeah, I'm assuming. yeah. I think I've always just been like, I don't want to deal with that. I mean, fair. You know I mean? They, that's the reason I don't eat cherries. I don't want to. I'm not spitting out the pit. Just give me a strawberry or something. Yo, that yo, or that's grape. real. You know that's what I mean? real. Because like too much work. I, don't I, I do enjoy anymore. it. Like they're cool. Yeah, but it's just. I just, I just take a grape. Because they got like flavors and stuff, right? Of like sunflower seeds. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. They got, um, I, I was good by the explain flavors, but they have. I know unlimited. flavors. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm, I'm aware of flavors. Exactly. <laughs> um, but no, I actually do. I, I've seen bags of like just the sunflower seeds and like not the shells. Mm -hmm. Oh, something about that is weird to me. It's like, it's like too much sunflower going on. It's like, it's like, bro, damn, we're yeah. supposed to go one at a time or like three. <laughs> right. Then you could do, you, know you could do handfuls. That's not yeah. how it was it's, intended it's to be. It's weird, man. Yeah. No, it's weird. Fair. It's just like, I don't know. At what point does it just become like peanut butter in your mouth? Like, I don't know. Like, it's weird. All right. <laughs> You're going to have to explain that one to me. Oh. I have no idea what you're talking about. We can strike that from the record. <laughs> Why does Your it... Honor. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, you can't script this. No. Nobody would have written this in a script. Absolutely not. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Dude, is, are sports scripted? Is that real? Um, I think to an extent, I don't think the NBA is like, okay, we want the Lakers to win this year, so let's make sure that happens. Yeah. But um, especially with how popular betting is now like the refs are thinking about it mm. even if they're not trying to they they're thinking about it in the back of their mind yeah. what what the money lines are they probably have friends that are like hey man why don't you give a couple calls for jason right. tatum so i can hit my par like you know what i mean like yeah. it's it's on their mind so i i think whether they want it to or not it definitely plays a part yeah but i don't think like it's to the point where it's like no, we we need to fix this game for ratings, or we need to fix this draft, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like yeah. that. You don't think yeah? You don't think they actually got you can't cover a, that up. a freaking script? And I like don't there's think a conspiracy so. going yeah, on. No, like, you yeah. can't. You can't hide that. Yeah. With how many people are involved in every professional sports league, you can't That's what I'm hide. You can't cover that up forever. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. Well, good old sports. Yeah, little sports, sports. sports, little sports talk. Little hey, sports on, talk little on a sports, pod. Sports talk. Gotta, <laughs> gotta switch it up. <laughs> we got we got a new audience, man. No, nah, we'll never we'll never talk about sports again. Damn it, it's fun while it lasted. All right, man. So you really you really started out. You started with this hook, this nice hook. That beat is very nice. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sing it. Planting seeds in my head. Out them flowers day. So it's definitely a different sound for you. Um, did you have any? I know you asked me this, like, what does this song? Who does this song sound like? But when mm. you were making it, did you have any pinpoint artistic direction that you kind of took from somebody? So like, I make all my I, I make all my music on YouTube beats, like for the most part, unless I'm working on something original with Adriel. Yeah. Which, I don't know why I said that, because the only thing that that's ever happened with is On My Way. Word. And one of his songs that, like, I helped write with. But, like, other than that, I always use YouTube beats. And so I'm always looking up <laughs> um, J. Cole type beat. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Travis type beat. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. X, Y, Z. And so I was, I'm thinking, I think for this one, dude, what did I look up? That's what I'm saying. I, I, I think... I'm thinking Yachty. I think I was looking for like Yachty stuff. And I think I just fell down a rabbit hole. But I think at the time, that's what I was looking for. Interesting. I'm trying to think. Or I also like, there's also YouTube producers that like I know that I like. Mm -hmm. And then. You just go see what their I new just, stuff is. Exactly. Makes sense. And so this could have been one of those two. Yeah. But you know what? Honestly, it might have been one of those. Yeah. It might have been one of those because the the group of songs that I made around this time mm -hmm. were all from the same producer. Gotcha. So that that could have been that. Yeah. That could have been that. But I don't know. I don't know what I went into it looking for though. Mm -hmm. I think I just 
Well, I think a lot of times I just play a beat and like see if it speaks to you. See if it speaks to me, and then I'll write the song. Word. I, you know, I may, I may have something in general that I want to get off my chest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think. Like, I don't come up with, like, an entire concept for a song and, like, oh, it should sound like this, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But, like, you know, let's just say, like, I'm having family trouble and I'm like, all right, I want to talk about my family trouble. Right. You know, I'm going to tend to look at a certain type of beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then find something within there or switch it up. Who knows? But, but yeah. Now, this this one was fun to make. It definitely is a different sound for me. Yeah. Um, And I think, I mean, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember when I sent it to Adriel, he said... Like, I, he was like, you definitely have to sing more, like, in this register, like, more often. Word, yeah. And so I was like, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. Like, I do think, I do think that, I, like, I sound good there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Um, but yeah, I guess I just got to figure out where I want to take it. If mm-hmm. I want to, do I want to do, like, more love style stuff like this? Or, right. like, or, like, relationship related stuff? Or do mm-hmm. I want to take it somewhere else? I don't know. But, but yeah, yeah. It's, this song is very, the, the the phrase I have here is TikTok friendly. Mm-hmm. That might not be the best way to describe it, but um, you even had a slowed down version that you put out at the yeah. same time. So I feel like it's it's very catered to that audience and that type of content. Um, how does that, like, are you thinking about that when you're making a song like this? Or do you ever think about stuff like that when you're making yeah. songs? What is that, what is that like? Um, I do. I do think about that stuff when I'm making songs. Mm-hmm. Uh like I'm not I'm not gonna say that it's the reason that like certain songs come out or it's the reason or like I, I don't I basically I don't want to say it, it, it plays a huge role mm-hmm. but it does play a role yeah um this song when I was working on it I had chorus verse chorus the way that the song is I had that and I sent y'all the short version and I and in parentheses I was like short version or I think short demo is mm-hmm. what I sent it because I was planning on like doing a second verse and all that type of stuff mm-hmm. but and then I was like. I don't think this is a song that needs that. Like, I think right here, it's just over two minutes. Like, I think that's perfect for it. Yeah. I like where it ends. You have the the little hums in your head and everything, mm-hmm. and it makes you want to repeat it, and you're right there starting with right. that again. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's that's kind of how I like to structure yeah. stuff. Um, I, I like, I like to structure stuff so it's repeatable. Like, yeah. I try to make sure that things end, like, directly on fours. Word. So that way, when the song starts again, it sounds like you didn't skip anything. That's smart, bro. I have never noticed that, but... You saying it about this song specifically, it's like, oh, absolutely. It's yeah. like as soon as it's over, playing seeds of it, yeah, we're yeah. right back. You know what yeah. I mean? That's really smart. Yeah. I like that. This one, uh, I ended it two bars after actually, which is the first time I've done that, I think. Um, and so it it is kind of sudden, mm-hmm. but and then it it, it, right back. it opens right back into yeah. it. So yeah. I, I like that. I like that. What is your opinion on like tiktok songs in general like i know a lot of people are like oh man it's popular on tiktok i can't listen to it anymore like do you Mm. do you have that kind of opinion do you have any feelings about that um let's see because i find a lot of music on tiktok and if a song i like is blowing up on tiktok and like my girlfriend knows it and is like singing along in the car i'm like yeah that's awesome yeah i I want more people to under like support and understand that these dudes are good and make good music you know what i mean not real i i don't know I don't know what TikTok song like means true. like now. That's true. It's way different than it was probably what like three four years ago. Yeah, like because yeah. I remember I went to go see um, Corday mm-hmm. and he had this dude uh, Loner opening for him, and he had like a viral TikTok song and like it was a TikTok song. Like that's yeah. the way that like everybody knew right. that song. Right. Um, but I don't know. I guess I don't see. Maybe I just don't see a lot of that type of stuff yeah or maybe it doesn't happen as like large anymore Mm -hmm. but like four bats you know with with um data eight like i don't that i wouldn't it's like it's a tiktok song Mm -hmm. but like i don't know i guess it didn't feel like a tiktok song to me right because i didn't first hear it on tiktok i first heard it on twitter yeah that has something to do with it as well and so like from there i went to go stream it and I was like, "This is like, this is probably going crazy on tw- on TikTok, or mm-hmm. going to go crazy on TikTok." Yeah. And uh, and yeah, so I guess I don't know. I I don't think I don't think so. I think a tick. I think TikTok artist is different though. I think yeah. there's such thing as a TikTok artist. Yeah. But if there's a such thing as a TikTok artist, there has to be such thing as a TikTok song. Yeah. Right. I just think it it is different because like the last one that I can really think of that like really took the whole app by storm it seemed like was that steve lacy song i forget uh bad habit that 
Yeah. And then there's all the clips of the people that go to his show and just sing the chorus to that song and then that's it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's a TikTok song yeah. to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, bro, that, that it's just a hit song to me. In fact, I mean, you know facts, what I'm saying? right? Like, it turns into streams yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess I guess yes, but I don't see it as much of a um I don't see it having like as much of a bad stigma as I once had it in my head. Word. And I don't know where other people are yeah. on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, yeah, like Bad Habit to me, that that's a that's, that's just a hit song. Right. It's just a hit song. Right. Yeah, I can't even think of like anything recent that I would call a TikTok mm-hmm. yeah, song. Agreed. But I also don't think that I get a lot of like the trendy yeah. type, so, like that right. type of stuff on my For You page. That's I true. just see a lot of underground artists. That's true. And so I get music on TikTok, yeah. but it's not necessarily like the ones that are going where hella people, viral. Yeah, where people are using like the same like audio, yeah. like the chorus or whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's no, true. I see like I people that I know it. and like, yeah. and pe- people like me. Yeah. You know? But those are definitely out there because like I said, my girlfriend, like, there a song will come on in the car and she'd be like, Oh, I know this one. It's like, what? Like yeah. how how do you know this random Tyler the Creator song? Like what? But Man, yeah, that's, there was a that makes sense. When uh Doja dropped Scarlet, mm-hmm. um, and I was listening to uh Agora Hills when it first came out, and I was like, I- I'm a big fan of this song. Yeah. And then like, I don't know, like two weeks later or something, I see this girl post it on her story, and I was about to swipe up and try to start something, you know what I'm saying? There's some common ground. I'm a big fan of that song. Yep. Um, and I was like, eh, I'm good, right? And then I go on TikTok and I find out that it's viral on TikTok. And I was like, okay, so there it's, it is. I mean, still good for you that right, you enjoy absolutely. it. Absolutely, you found a good song. But like, I I thought I thought we had a connection. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no connection. Yeah, we didn't have no connection. Damn, she had a connection to TikTok. The facts. Yeah, but hey, that's cool too. That's cool too. Streams yeah. a stream. Exactly. Man. Listen to listen. Yep. Yeah, whatever you're into. Song's a song. Yep. So At yeah. the end of the day, man. All right, I want to. I have something else I want to get your opinion on. So I don't know if you saw this or not, but I, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. But Schoolboy Q did an interview with, um, I think her name is Elsie, not Elise. On this is Twitter. good. This is good. I want. Do you know what I'm going to say? The yeah, quote? go go for it. I would like to hear your opinion. He said something. I'm butchering this. It's not verbatim, but he said something along the lines of rappers are just content creators now. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? I don't think that rappers are just content creators now. Yes, I agree. Um. But I do think that content creation should be a part, or I I, I don't want to say should. Mm-hmm. I think it's smart to make that a part of your strategy. It's kind of in the job description now, right? Yeah. Especially for guys like you, like coming up, starting yeah. smaller. Right. And and I, I'm not saying that you have to do, um, well, I mean, I'm not saying shit, okay? Because like, I'm, I'm just talking about like my personal opinion <laughs> Word, and yeah. experience. Yep. Um, but I don't, like you don't, I don't think that you have to do like the skits or... Uh, anything that you think is cringy, like you don't have to do. Cool. Content can be what you want it to be. Yeah. And I'm trying to come into terms with that more and mm-hmm. do better at that. Cause for a long time, or not for a long time, like like still, I see stuff and I'm like, okay, this is kind of like what people like or whatever. This is what other people do. Right. I'm gonna do something similar, mm-hmm. even if it's not something that I like am attracted to or I enjoy. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to do that. Like you you don't have to do yeah. that. You just do what you want to do. Right. Because it's going to attract the right people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm trying to work on that more. And like one thing, one thing that's been big for me is uh like I see a lot of uh like phone recordings and stuff mm-hmm. on TikTok and a lot of like uh more what is it, like on the fly or like impromptu shoots where it's just like I just hand you my phone, it's like, hey, record me doing yeah, this really quick. Right. You know, which is cool. Um, but I like seeing like cool videography nice yeah. cinematic shots yeah, stuff like sure. that for sure you know what i'm saying uh and so i'm trying to transition my content more and more into that yeah and it's i mean it obviously that it takes more effort mm-hmm. you know um but it's just like get what you put in i guess yeah um but then again i, I don't know it's just it's a different thing but i do think that it's part of like it's part of the your marketing toolkit mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like you can do that, you can do playlists, you can do right. shows, you can do right. whatever. But I do think that that's like, that that's a big one. Mm-hmm. That's a big one. No, dog, you have to, you're doing content creation in some form no matter what if you're a rapper. That's you what are. I was, that's kind of what I want to ask is do you see your, like the music you put out, the music videos, do you see that as content? Mm. Because when I, I was thinking about this quote yesterday and I was like, 
I the first person I thought of was Future because he drops a lot of music. And to me, that kind of fulfills that content creator where it's it's not him making TikToks or whatever, but it is him putting out more music on average, especially when you would probably compare it to 10, 15 years ago. I think it's a lot easier. Yeah. He has always put out a lot of music, but I think more people are putting out more music. We're seeing more people with a couple albums a year, albums yeah. every year. That's, that's kind of commonplace now. I, I To me, that's kind of, I don't know if that was what Schoolboy Q was talking about, but to me, that kind of fits in it as well. It's just easier to put out a lot of music. And to me, that could be seen as content, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, it. it is like that. It that's, is content. You can, it's that's media. It, that's like, Instagram stories. That's Instagram posts. That's merch. That's music videos. You know what I mean? And you yeah. do get content. It's, yeah, media. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Very true. Um, it's just like it's another one of those like buzzword type of things right. where like people like don't like. There's a stigma that. around it. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, true. And I mean, I can't say that like I haven't said something similar to that because mm-hmm. uh, I have. Right. Uh, but I and I but I do think it's like I think for most artists these days it's part of their it's part of their marketing toolkit yeah because that's 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 what everybody does everybody's on social media all the time right it's a place that you know that you can reach people Mm -hmm. like it makes it makes too much sense to like not do in some facet yeah you know you just have to figure out what it is for you and what's going to resonate with the audience you're trying to attract yeah Mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense solid i like that all right, man. So we'll get back to some lyrics here. You start the verse sounding very strong. So we, we, we've had a lot of sad boy songs over the past couple of years from you. It's true. It's, it's nice to hear you have a, have, a, have a stance like this. I know it's not the first time, but it's, it's refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, man. Put, put a lot into this stuff, put a lot into myself. Mm-hmm. And so I, like, you, you have to know your worth. It's a know your worth type of thing. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I just I just know my worth better these days, I guess. Um, which I get, I don't know. I don't know if it's that I didn't know previously or if I just, like, wanted to ignore it mm-hmm. just because, like, just wanted personal connection. Right. Wow, it's crazy. It's crazy when you when you go into stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, wow. I mean that's. I feel like that's a. I feel like everybody has that struggle. Yeah. Especially when it's one of their first, and they're still like I. I went through that with my first, just trying yeah. to remind myself what I am worth and what I do deserve. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. I think everybody goes through that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was that was a that the situation that this is based on. Was very weird. Um, didn't go how I was anticipating at all, uh, <laughs> at all. But uh, hey. we're, we're not going in on that or anything. Oh no, no, right, no, yeah, no. Yeah, but that you know that happens. Yeah. Um. But but with that, I guess I was just kind of like, yeah, real. Audio listeners, this man is just holding up his hands in confusion and now is rubbing his, uh, what do you call these things? The bridge of your nose when you're like stressed and confused? Dude. Well, you weren't doing that. I'm squeezing mine. You weren't doing this, but. Jake, I think I'm, <laughs> dude, I think I'm so nervous for the video pod and I don't know why because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I'm literally like, like I feel my legs sweating. Is it hot in here? It's definitely hot in here. Okay. I've been sweating since I got in here. Okay. I sweat a lot, but still it is, it is warm in here okay so okay so that's not helping yeah you're wearing pants yeah that is not helping no not at all um all right yeah i i have no no connecting thought to the start of that sentence that i started sounds good to me man that's fine with me sorry about that and no no worries at all all right so the end of the verse you have some great wordplay Hey, that's fire. Thank you. That's good stuff right there, man. Thank you. That's real good stuff. Thank you. That was, um, I forgot how I had it before, but I remember, I think that was the last line that I wrote was before the dandelion uh, line the mm-hmm. arose part like that was yeah. the the last one that I forgot what was there before, 
But I was like, I feel like I need to add in another flowers thing here. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I need to really tie it in. And so I remember adding that. But thank you. The, dude, the pantomime bar is one of the is one of my favorite things I've ever said. That's pretty good, and man. Nobody says pantomime these days. That's, that's what I'm saying. Pull that one out. But like I, from doing like acting recently, mm-hmm. um, that's a word that they use there uh, a lot because like, uh, especially doing extra work is where I heard it a lot mm-hmm. because you're, they need you silent because right. the actors are talking and they have mics on and they need to pick up the audio. Yeah. They can add your dumb chatter in later yeah. from, they can just look up chatter. on YouTube, they can go <laughs> chatter <laughs> and just upload yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, but yeah, so they're like, all right guys, we're just pantomiming. Don't say anything, blah, blah, blah. Word. And man- no, I'm proud of that one. Yeah. I'm proud of that one. Because, I mean, so. yo, it's like, yep, yep, yep. You're saying a bunch of stuff, but you're Spikes. really saying nothing. Mm-hmm. Really saying nothing. Damn. Um, But, yeah, and then, like, the flowers wordplay. Yeah. At what stage did this song become called Flowers? Like, were you were you writing these, like, flower bars, and then you were like, oh, I, I should call this Flowers? Or was it just like, oh, this... Where does that even come from? I think... Because I think the chorus is the first thing that I wrote. Yeah. And so I think it just, I think it became Flowers like right then and there, honestly. Yeah. Um, Because I I think it just, I think it just made sense. Mm -hmm. That's just what I picked out of the chorus. Yeah. Um, And then, yeah, and then I I played into it. I I don't think it was vice versa. I think I chose a name and then I played into it a bit more. Um, Another one of my favorite lines on here is uh love is a lamb i picked up your i really like that that's simple i don't know if anybody said that before P- like people be saying stuff right you know what i'm saying i, I don't listen to every song that's ever released Facts. <laughs> i've never heard nobody say that yeah i thought it was hard it's cool because it's like you know you're two people you you meet at this one place it could be great you guys can have a great time right there together you know what i'm saying the second somebody steps off the plate you're there alone dang and so some, yeah, I mean, something's going to happen. You're either going to yeah. be there alone or you're going to try to run. And guess what? I don't know if you can outrun that landmine, dog. <laughs> people, it's going to blow up in your face. Yeah, people n- normally It's going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to hurt. But, but hey, we recover from landmines on this side. That's right. Okay, that's what we do. Absolutely. That's what we do. Yep. So. Like Captain America jumping on that grenade. Real. Real. Sometimes he's got to. He really did eat that. Yo, shout out. Shout out Captain America. True. Shout out Captain America. Both of them. Good guy. Both of them. A. They're getting rid of his suit. That white one that he wore? Yeah. He's not wearing that. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Wasn't the biggest fan of it. Oh, I'm pissed. Personally. I thought it was cool. I think it's sick. But like, I think the, the one that I've seen him wearing currently, mm-hmm. I like that one. Yeah. I'm a fan of that one. It's just Captain America. It's, it's Captain America. <laughs> it's him in a Captain America suit because yeah. he's Captain America. <laughs> and I true. like that. Yeah, that's true. Um, it is fair. No, I, I, I felt like the white, like the white one was cool, mm. but it, it felt too superhero like cartoon cartoony. like this yeah. is not real that's fair you know what i'm saying yeah but i mean hey to each their own though to each their own mm-hmm. hey they did their thing when they designed it though like the colors yeah. and everything like right. yeah but I, I think i liked it more dialed back mm-hmm. kind of I, I was about to say like in the real world type of vibe but clearly they're not in the real world <laughs> yeah i know i was gonna say like realistic <laughs> yeah i don't know what that means in yeah. this context right <laughs> Uh, is it weird to put out a one verse song? No word. Because no. I, when I was writing these notes, I was like, "All right, in the first verse, you're like this," and then I was like, "Oh wait, <laughs> there there isn't another. This yeah. is it. This is the one." No, I, I think I like I like shorter songs. I like shorter songs. Word. Get to the point. Um, I like longer songs too. You know, there's songs that I listen to that are six plus minutes. Like that happens too. Yep. Um, but I think that uh. I think that this song, like, I said what I needed to say, and it ended in a good spot. Mm -hmm. And, like, the instrumental. Yo, also, another real thing, another real thing with using YouTube production, if I'm not buying the track outs, which is, like, paying to get uh, each individual audio file, like, sent to you separately. So that, like, each, uh, you know, the kick drum, the snare, the the piano, the sample, blah, blah, all all that different stuff. Right. And so you can mess around with that. You can rearrange the beat how you want, mm-hmm. that type of thing. You and have that's to pay how you, extra for that normally? Yes. Gotcha. It's like it's like a tiered thing. Okay. It's like a tiered thing. Yeah. And so I normally don't do that. Mm-hmm. And so I am confined in a sense to the beat that I'm given is like that's what it is. And I can chop off sections and move them around. Mm-hmm. But like if they send the beat and there's no section in it with no drums, 
then just every yeah. section just gonna have drums. Right. That's just how it's gonna work. Yeah. Um, so sometimes you do get uh, what's the word? Constrained by that. Mm. I was gonna say constricted. What's constrict? Is constricted uh it's like when you shrink? Do. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, yeah, like tightened around. Yeah, it works too. Okay. Okay, but yeah, um, and so that does that can hold you back sometimes. And mm-hmm. I think this is one of those instances where like I use all the sections of the beat. Song's over, and like that. That's just that's just where we're leaving it. Yeah, you know, I was just gonna repeat the instrumental, do another verse, but I like where it's at. Word. Um, I mean, you said earlier, Khalid, it's one of your favorite songs. This is just mm-hmm. a verse. It's true. That's just one long verse. Yeah, that's true. I forget how long that song is, but that that one's not that long either. Right. It's like two minute, two and a half minutes, something yeah. like that. That's true. Um, I'm a big fan of that format. Uh, what's popping was uh, chorus verse chorus. Damn, like that's crazy. Yeah, and that was a hit song. Facts. You know. Um, that was a that was a big reason as to why I made collegiate and allowed myself to do like no chorus. So I was like, no, nah, people are showing that if like if you're rapping catchy, they'll mm-hmm. stick with you through Absolutely. it. Absolutely, right? You know what I mean? Hundred like, percent. It yo, that's another thing is like it all comes down to attention span. Yes, like it really just comes down to like, are you retaining their attention for that right. amount of time? Exactly. Your YouTube video can be a minute. It can be three hours. If you're entertaining <laughs> facts, facts. every second of those three hours, yep. people are going to watch it. Mm-hmm. And if you're not, they're not going to watch it. Yep. You know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Because I'd be thinking about that. Like, oh, do I need to make all my songs shorter? No. No. Right. Some songs can be longer. Yeah. Like, the song that I have coming out in July is like, it's like a heartbreak anthem type thing. Which one's that? Misses. Ah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and that's, I think that's like four minutes or almost four minutes or something. And like that, that's kind of long for like a song like that. Like, you know, yeah. typically I feel like it's shorter, mm-hmm. but I was like, nah, I feel like I held it. I feel like I held it this entire time. Yeah. Each chorus was hitting, the switch ups were there, the verses were cool. Like, so yeah, make the song as long as it needs to be for real. Facts. But yeah. Yeah. Solid. All right, man. I want to talk about the music video. Sheesh. Hey, you've come a long way. Since skills over bills won, my dog, you have come a long, long way. <laughs> wow! With music videos, yeah. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Thank I was you. Think about that when I was watching it today. That is. Thank you. No, that 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 means a lot, especially because like recently, like the last couple have been me, and so I'm getting it. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm able to like put more of like, it's like my vision. Mm-hmm. It's a lot closer and truer to like what I see for the song. Um. And there's like less, uh, less compromise. Yeah, you know, because I just like I I know what I want, mm-hmm. and I can go do it. I can go do it. I mean, sometimes I can't go right. do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, I guess it, I guess it just feels like validating, basically, Word. that people yeah. like the visuals that I've been putting out and mm-hmm. see that there's an improvement. Yeah, because that because that means that I've improved. That's yep. what that means. You it's know? true. <laughs> and so I'm glad to hear that because yeah, it is it, it's it. It has not been easy to get into all that stuff. Right, absolutely. That's a whole world. Yeah, but I'm I'm trying to pick it up yeah. as I go. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think it's cool because and then at some point, like I'm just going to have more knowledge about all of this stuff. And so at some point, like when I do have somebody editing for me, I can give True. them like specific Direction. editing notes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in the program. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, but yeah, yeah. Music videos, yo, they're fun. They're fun. Hell yeah. They don't always do great. They're just expensive. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, I really thought this was going to be like, I really genuinely was like, all right, this is going to be like one of the cheapest videos. Like, it's going to be, this is easy, right? Mm-hmm. I think this is my most expensive video, dude. Yeah. And like, when you look at it, you wouldn't think that. Yeah. You just wouldn't you think that. Walking back and forth and then getting water on you. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's pretty much it. That's it. But when you got to rent a freaking suit jacket and then you got to rent those spaces, man, it hurts. Did you have to rent like a All right. Well, how did how did they do the water thing? So, it's a I've always wondered this. It's a it's a rain room. Like it, they set it up for that purpose. Right, right. And so it's just like a big shower that okay. has like controls. Gotcha. And so they have like Imagine just like a bunch of piping mm-hmm. above here, and it's like uh, they have like a shower head one. They have a uh, just like lines. They have a like a wow. full thing. Like yeah. it's just they have a circle. I did. Uh, I wanted to do a circle shot where I was the camera was in the middle, and mm-hmm. I was walking around outside. 
but just like with the water and everything and then also with the setup of the room that just didn't end up working out yeah um because yeah i mean like we, well i mean we just pulled up we had an hour to film the rain scenes and so it was like whatever we can get done we got to get done and so sometimes you got to audible you know is that water cold good question um it was ah. because they there is heated water. Oh, really? Yes. Dang. But it was it was one of those instances. Uh, well, the only time I was in the water was like the one shot where it was like directly over my head. Yeah. And since that was like when the water was first coming out, like you know when you turn on the shower, oh, like it has to warm up a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. It was that. Dang. So I got the cold water immediately, and then after we were done shooting, it started to warm up, and I was like, Yeah, awesome. thanks. Yeah, <laughs> great. That's tough. But, <laughs> hey, you, you just got to muscle through it. Adriel yeah. was looking out, though. He was like, all right, I'm going to turn it to hot. And I was like, totally forgot about that. Thank you. You know, Word. I was just, I was ready to just go. Just take it. And then I, ju- and then I did anyway. Yeah, true. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hey, anything for the shot, though. It looks good, for the shot. It yeah. looks good. And then later when I went back in, it was warm. And so that was, that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. But yeah, cool, cool spot. That is cool. Cool spot. It, we recorded, both of those were at the same uh, studio. Wow. It's like a big studio that has a bunch of these different rooms. rooms yeah. Dang. And it's, it's cool because like you can see uh, like other, I can see other Chicago artists and stuff have mm-hmm. recorded in like these same places. I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. Like I was there. Dang. And so like that that's stuff's cool. cool too. Is that is cool basically too. what like a space like that is for, for like music videos or like what, what's like the main purpose? I think it's just for anything creative because, yeah. like, you could do photo shoots and That's stuff. That's true. Yeah. Um, music videos. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, the um, when I went in to record the video, actually, the person that had just got done using the, the studio, they used it the entire day. Mm-hmm. And so I pulled up at, like, 7 p.m. or something. It was on a – I think it was on a Sunday. Dang. And bro was doing uh, pet photography. Wow. Bro was having – bro was scheduled That's a bunch crazy. of sessions. People would just bring their dogs in and stuff, take a couple pictures yeah. and dip out. True. And so, like, wow. uh, like before we shot, I went through with a broom and swept up a bunch of dog, dog hair. And stuff. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I was actually going to put a blooper in of me sweeping because yeah. we recorded it. But now it's just like, like we, don't, we don't really need a blooper. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Bloopers. You know what it's, you know what it's perfect for? Right now. Right, here, you guys right now. Look I'm at the bloopers. Right Yo, sometimes you got to clean. You know is what I'm saying? Up? Like, Is it going to be up? It's right. Oh, I don't know where it's going to be. I don't, I don't know. Here? That's sick. It's going to be here, though. Wow. Can yeah. I, hey, can I like, can I like put a picture of a hot dog? Can I Are do you, that? Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask if you could have that power. Yes, Jake, you can have that power. That's huge. Just so, hey, so long as I catch it in editing. Like hey, two if I hot dogs. It. No. All right. Yo, did you? One right. hot dog. Hey, this is all we're saying about it, but did yep. you see the, did you see the BBL glizzy? Yes. That was funny. <laughs> Shout out. That is Shout hilarious. Yep. Expert marketing. Yeah, Expert no, marketing. fantastic, yeah, bro. They all fantastic. Get, they all get a raise. That's, that's like, <laughs> that's that genius stuff that I yep. wish I was like quick to just get because like that's hilarious. Saw an opportunity. They absolutely took it. Yeah. I respect that. Like that, that person should never get fired. That person yep. needs to be put on tenure immediately. Absolutely. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they got to, you got to keep them around. They, they know what they're doing with the hot dog marketing. Mm-hmm. That's huge. BBL <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good stuff. Are you going to hop on that beat though? No. No, I'm not hopping on that beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So director prez, like we talked about. Yeah. Could you ever see yourself being like a like a Cole Bennett type where you are directing multiple music videos for a lot of different people? Or is that like a is that just for like would you do that for your manifest artists down the line? Yes. Word. That is definitely something I I am open to doing like i'm open to doing a little bit of that now mm-hmm. um but definitely down the line like i i definitely be cool with that i wouldn't necessarily say that like i see myself like following and like doing turning into a music video director right yeah but i could see myself doing a couple of music videos or just like doing creative direction mm-hmm. you know trying to help out with like what what the kind of like vibe is and what some of the shots might look like that type of thing yeah um but also like that's that's another thing that like I just have to build up. I have to build up my taste. I have to get better at this type of stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, cause yeah, I mean I I love I, I love the music videos that are coming out right now. Yeah. But I also want them to get better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for like, sure. Like I'm um I critique myself absolutely. So I look at it. I'm like, all right, I could have done this better. Like this shot could have been a little bit better. Blah blah blah. That type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, I think I think over time though, like as I get better and better, yeah, I'd be down to do stuff like that. Solid. It's That'd fun. Yeah. It's fun. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's it's fun stuff to do, 
I'm just always stressed about it because it's like for me and stuff right. and I'm like, I'm trying to get everything perfect and I'm stressed about a million other things. Yeah. Sometimes I have to realize that like, I'm not, ne it's not necessarily that like, I hate what I'm doing mm -hmm. or I'm stressed about this certain task or things like that. It's like yeah. just an overall, mm -hmm. like I just feel bad right now. No matter what I'm doing, it's just like, it's yeah. just not going to feel great. For sure. Like when I'm sitting there editing, like I'd be complaining about editing all the time. Yeah. But then like, I like the video, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Finished product. Yeah. But hey, editing is not too bad. It depends on the editing work. Yeah. Because like throwing on some music and editing, mm -hmm. that's great. That's great. When you're doing a music video and you got to keep playing it back at the same spot over and playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it every time, bro. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying, bro. Uh, hey, we that's got funny. it lined up, though. We got yeah. it lined up. That's all that matters, man. Yeah. Uh, how has acting helped you with your confidence in front of a camera? Yo, wow. This is this is this is cool that you brought this up because you seem much more natural in these past couple of music videos than I would say you did when especially when you started, obviously, but okay. even the past couple of years, I think. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I well, I think that that's due to a couple things. I think I I think I'm more conf like I I think I've gradually gotten more confident somehow. Like yeah. I continue to get more confident, which Absolutely. blows my mind. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I had reached the peak. I was like, I like my music. Cool. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess I like it more now. Hell yeah. But I think I just feel like comfortable, um, more comfortable presenting it. And I also understand that like now with directing it, I know what I want the vision to look like. Mm -hmm. And so I know how I need to be. Mm -hmm. And I guess I think sometimes when other people are directing it, sometimes there's like a miscommunication. Right. Or just like a little disconnect yep. of like, you know, you may think that it's like some energetic shot and you should mm -hmm. be all hyped up and then, but like you weren't supposed to. Just not on the same page. Right. But if it's just you. Right. You're most like, likely going to be on the same page. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Not to say that like, I don't like collaboration and right. and working with people. Like yep. uh, when me and Adriel did this video, like I, I gave him uh, a shot list of like, these are all the different shots we're going to do. Came up with the order, all that type of stuff. But and then he, you know, he gave his input and he's like, all right, we can do this. We can do this, but we can't quite do it like that. Let's try this out. You know, or like the, um, one of the silhouette, the silhouette shot from the music video where it's just like, it's just like basically m me as a, what? I just look like super dark and the, the background is just light. Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. A silhouette. <laughs> I think that's how actually. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. the silhouette shot, I was like, hey, dude. I have no idea how to do that. And I, I'm assuming it can't be that difficult because it, it doesn't look that difficult to pull right. off. But yeah. how do you do this, bro? Yeah, like, right. can, can we do this? And he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, man, you do this, this, this. You know, we can set it up. Word. We'll bring the stuff. Yeah. And so we did that. Um, and, But with acting, I think, yeah, I think that both of them have had a uh, a mutual impact on each other. And that's like what I was hoping for. Because I think... I think my camera presence has gotten better because of mm -hmm. acting, but I also think that because uh, I just just watched my first acting performances. Yeah, man. Like what? Like, yesterday was that? Was that? That was yesterday. I yesterday so, and right? the day before. The, that's where you post Instagram stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I just watched my first acting performances, and even when I was like shooting them and stuff, people would say like, "You kind of like you kind of have a knack for this for this being like your first thing." Hey, man. And I was like, "Oh, I guess that kind of makes sense because I have like been in front of a camera and sure. stuff before." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a different vibe, right? Right. You know, but but like it, it's like I don't know. I think being in front of a camera, you you get more and more used to it. Yeah, kind of. Because right. as you can see today, I've been a little bit of a mess. <laughs> um, but hey, that happens. Exactly, man. Um, but the acting thing, yo. I'm 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 decent. Hell yeah, I'm decent. That's why I, I forgot to ask you about that before we started. But you, yeah, you, look, you like all right. You, yeah, everything, everything went all right. Yeah, I you thought I was gonna be ass. Yeah, definitely thought I was gonna be mid. Yeah, but it was it was solid. It nice, was solid. dude. It was solid. Glad to hear it. There was some 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 spots were better than others. Oh sure, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but no, I think like with practice, that's that's definitely something that I would like to continue to pursue. Mm -hmm. Um. It's just, it, it's like just another thing adding to the plate. And so it's just hard to balance right. everything. Yeah. And, but so like, unfortunately, I think that that's the thing right now that I have to put towards the back burner. Mm -hmm. I'd still like to do things when I can. Yeah. But it's harder now. Yeah. But yeah. And I think even being in, just being in the film industry in general, 
uh, has helped and it, it's helping with my taste and like different looks that I want to go for. Yeah. And knowing these people is helping me kind of figure out uh, how to do certain things, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I see certain lighting setups and stuff and I'm like, okay, I, I see how they're doing this and how it looks on camera. Like, right. you know, trying to figure that uh, stuff out bit. and the connections. Yeah. That's really cool too. Cause like, I know a bunch of I know a bunch of videographers with Facts. really nice cameras. Yep, that's huge. You know, I know directors and creative directors mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. People that know lighting, like all that type of stuff. Good stuff to have. Exactly. Exactly. And so I think like low key, I think it'd be really cool to have like a production company at some point and uh like do music videos and stuff for other people. Yeah. And it not necessarily, like it's not, it doesn't have to be a me branded thing, mm -hmm. but like I'd like to have, like do some sort of like collective type thing where like, you know, we all, uh, we're all trying to work together to bring people's visions to life. Yeah. Um, Cause it's intriguing to me. Obviously the whole film thing, cause right. acting, music videos, like I find it intriguing. So, so yeah, I'd like to do more and more of that type of stuff. Hell yeah, man. But yeah. So this and the Smoke With Me music videos, both of them are just like, I, I really feel like you hit another level with both of these because they're just so like artistic and the shots and like, I just really feel like the Smoke With Me one was like the start of like, you raised the bar for yourself, I think. Um, Thank so you. So just like shots, lighting, transitions, all that stuff. I really feel like you, you've notched it up a little bit. Um, Thank you. Is, is there anybody that's an inspiration for that kind of stuff? Are you pulling from movies or anything any specific directors or anything like that um i would say that i haven't i'm not uh i haven't gotten to that point yet word but i have uh like pulled small inspiration stuff from from things that i like i i forgot i feel bad that i don't know the name of the artist uh or slash youtuber i watched a youtube video of this dude that was directing music videos and he directed one for an artist and I liked the shot that they did and so I did something similar in the Flowers video. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, the um, the Cold Sunday Yachty uh, music video. I don't yeah. know if you've seen that. Mm. Uh, that was an inspiration for this. Solid. Like that's, I, I like the, um, the frame within frame type of vibe that was mm -hmm. going on. Uh, and so I, I tried to lean into that. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I think... I think for the most part right now, it's been like, I'll get shot ideas from stuff. It's yeah. mainly what I get. Gotcha. Um, and yeah, and then Adriel helps me bring all this, sh all this shit to life. So yeah, shout out to real. Adriel. Shout out to Adriel. Um, Cause yeah, as much as like, I, you know, I'm coming up with like the concepts and stuff and doing all that type of stuff, getting mm -hmm. the, the, all, any like set decoration, that type of thing. Like that's all yeah. me. Like, but when it comes to like shooting, I have a shot list and I'm like, all right, all right, dog, how do we pull this off? And he's yeah. like, all right, we got to put the light there. You got to stand there and nope, come forward a little bit, Solid. dim the light, you know, that type That's of stuff. That's a good man. Right. And so, you know, I'd love to get to a point to where I understand that stuff more. Right. You know it what I'm saying? It, it just takes time. Yeah. And so I, I try to pay attention when he's speaking on that type of stuff For so sure. I can take mental notes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, absolutely, man. And like I said, it, it means a lot because it's like the, these are... It, I feel like it's just become more of a creative expression mm -hmm. rather than just like I have to do a video, let's get it shot. Yeah. It it they just I think they just feel better now. Yeah. It's, but dude, the smoke with me one, I'm proud of that one. That's fire, man. That's proud good that stuff. One. I'm proud of that one. Yeah. That was, I think that was really cool. That off. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Hell you. Yeah. Thank you. What what are your favorite parts about making music videos this way where you're pretty much the sole creative direction behind everything obviously adria helps with the shots and stuff yeah well what's 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 your favorite things that you take away from these kind of experiences honestly it feels a lot more branded to me sure it just in general feels like it's it's prez yeah it's like it's it's just prez mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um and i i feel like before sometimes it was like it looked like Hold on. I don't know how to do I don't know how to word it, but like sometimes I look at it and I'm just like, that just doesn't, it doesn't line up mm -hmm. to what I guess I had in my head, basically. Right. Yeah, it's another one of those things where like I, from now doing it, I'm yep. just able to do exactly what I want to do. Right. Um, And I also think, I also think that like, I, once again, I don't have a lot of like rap 
industry friends. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of the stuff that has ever happened in my career is me and Adriel. Yeah. Like most right. of the things that have happened is those two people yeah. working. You know what I'm saying? Um and even when I when I've worked with outside people, uh, like when I worked with Colin and uh, Adrian on the FWB video, you know they're not uh, they're not huge in the hip hop space either. Mm-hmm. And so I think another thing is I'm able to bring just like a rap hip hop element to it. Yeah, and I feel like uh, I, it just it feels more authentic mm-hmm. to the music and like not just me, but just like the style. Like I think it just fits better in yeah. the. Uh, in the genre. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, yeah, no, I fuck with it. Hey, not to say that I don't like my other stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, I was just thinking, one uh, a visualizer that I really like is for my song Sleep Well. And basically, the, the entire thing was yeah. like, I just get out of the car from work and I go downstairs, take off my work clothes and start rapping a song. But the entire album is like about that concept of mm-hmm. like, I'm at work, I don't like work, I just want to make music. And so that little simple visualizer... Hit the nail on the freaking head. It's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, with these, I feel like I get to be like, I'm trying to be more uh, artist. Yeah. Prez. Right. And not s- Tegan. Yeah. And since they are singles and they're not really confined to an overarching theme or concept or album, yeah. you can you can make a smoke with me and then the next month make a flowers. You exactly. know what I mean? Those exactly. Those are completely different. Yes. Push the limits. And I think that like, I think, the visual for smoke with me made sense for smoke with yep, me and absolutely. the visual for flowers makes sense for flowers yeah for sure and they're not interchangeable right they're not interchangeable even like the like just the look of uh the colors and everything like i think uh that that's another thing that i am trying to get better at and coloring mm-hmm. my videos and making them making them really pop and more attuned to like my taste and what i think is cool yeah rather than what i see or rather than uh yeah, rather rather than just like, bro, I'm, I'm just I'm just saying I like creating. That's what Facts. I'm saying. There it is, man. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. I didn't realize that I enjoyed creating in other ways outside of just music. Hell yeah. I really thought that I was just a music guy, and I'm I've slowly found out over the years that like, sure, but realistically, I just don't know enough about the other stuff to yeah, really right. dive into it like For that. Sure. But now I'm learning. Yeah, exactly. And now I like it. I remember talking with Tavin about it and like, you know, sometimes I just be taking pictures. Bro, I don't take pictures. I never Max. take pictures. Yeah. Sometimes something looks cool. Looks yeah, a little artsy. I just want a picture of it. Yeah. I just want a picture of it. Absolutely. It's fun to be creative. Gotta get the angle right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What's that lighting look like? What's the, what's the lighting look like? Yeah, nah, Tavin, get over here. Don't stand there, bro. You gotta get <laughs> facts, in the lights, bro. Facts, what are you doing? Man. Yeah. But I totally get that. But yeah. Yeah. Solid, man. Dude, I want, I would love to have you creative direct a video. I would like that. Like that would be gas. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be gas. I would definitely, I would definitely enjoy that. Like, I think you come up with some cool stuff. Hell yeah, you can come up with some cool stuff. Hell yeah, we just have to find a way to pull it off. Facts. I feel like you would come up with those ideas that'd be hard to pull off. Absolutely, because <laughs> I know nothing about equipment or prices or anything. Shots, like, right, lighting. So what if we just like shot in space? What do you li- think about, bro? That? Literally, that was what I was like. <laughs> let's just do Star Wars, right? Like that's, I think that's what we should do. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would be cool. To get lightsabers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah, we're not doing that. All right, whatever. I'll workshop. I'm sorry to tell you, I don't have access to any lightsabers. Then what is the point of all this? <laughs> you tell me, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. I just, I wake up on the spinning rock every day. <laughs> we really ought a spinning rock, bro. And yeah, I don't know. I just wait for the eighth to drop. I drop my song and, then, and I wait for <laughs> the eighth it. to drop again. Is it the eighth? No. All right. No. We're making a new song then. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're, we're just working until the next one comes out. Yeah. And the next one comes out, then, then we'll wait for the next one, you know? <laughs> oh, it's a cycle. I, I do want to say, though, I was watching the Flowers video on YouTube while I was making these notes. And the like the up next was Mojams. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. I thought you'd like that. That's cool. Yeah. Like that's, that's yeah. That's what you want, right? That's, that's what I want. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. I dude, thought that was cool. Dude, AMD visuals being in Lyrical Lemonade makes sense. Yep. Happy. Yeah, that's dope. So cool. Yep. Because cause all the all the recent AMD uh, videos have been, they've been so pretty. Mm-hmm. They've been so pretty. They've been so nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm happy. Excited I'm happy that. that that platform has Do been uh, has been opened up. Yeah. It's been opened up. Work with more people. It's about to be crazy, man. Mm-hmm. It's about to be crazy. Good stuff, man. But yeah. Hey, that's it. Hey. That's what I got. Hey. Thank you for being here, dude. Dude, I love doing these.
Me too. We're on video. We are on video. What's up, guys? This is great. We have a banner. We do have a banner. We took like an hour to set up our seats and everything. This is good. It's true, guys. This is this is good. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, flowers in the books. That's right. Is there anything else we need to touch on? I have nothing, man. I think we music video, title, lyrics, TikTok, Schoolboy Q. We done did it. I think we talked about everything we needed to. The Schoolboy Q thing was was good. Thank you for that. Yeah, Thank I feel like that. that tied in well. I thought about that last night. I was like, ooh, yeah, that would be fun because I, I was like, oh, this is a very TikTok song. I want to make sure we talk about like TikTok. And then that came into my head. I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Hey, so this worked out perfectly. I would love for this to be a TikTok song. Hell so yeah. let's make that shit happen. <laughs> Thanks, okay, let's hey. please make that shit happen. Use the audio, man. There's a slowed down version. Go ahead. Yeah, yo, the slowed down version, that was like, I, I, I made that like the day that I was up, or I don't know, I don't think I made it the day I was, oh yeah, no, I did. I made it the day I was uploading it. And I was like, oh damn, I feel like a slowed down version would be cool. So I was like, I just did it. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it is cool. Is, is there like cool. a, is there like a standard to slow down? Like, is it like, half speed for everybody or like what like slow down could mean anything does it just what sounds good yeah I, I there's don't not know. like a not every not every slow down version is like oh it's the song but at 0.75 or something like that i don't know i don't not that i know of right but who i could be the weirdo that just like slowed it down to whatever he wanted and yeah. moved on i don't know because like i feel like that i feel like that would track yeah because i mean people been doing like like, DJ Screw was doing, like, slowed-down versions before yeah. it was really called that. So there's no way that he was, like, nah, everything's got to be .65 or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. There's no way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I just slid that meter a little bit. And I was Sound like, all right. ah, I don't know. I got to go a little bit that way. Oh, yeah, perfect. Add a little bit of reverb. Golden. Golden. I like that, man. Golden. Yeah, I've been streaming that. I've been streaming that. I'm trying to think. Oh, here we go. Creative direction right here. Yep. We're going to put... Oh, this is so cool. This is this cool. Gonna be this is going to be great content. Yeah. All right. What do you think I should do for a visual for the slowed down version for like a TikTok? Like what do you think would be cool? A flower like just standing upright with petals slowly falling off of it. And that's all in slow motion. Okay. See... You can't do that, can you? I mean, I probably... I just don't know how. <laughs> Facts. See, I just this, don't know how. This is what's going to happen. Oh, but where am I at? Uh. Bro, I got to get in there. I, cause, mm. Because look, the thing you don't want happening is the song blows up and okay. nobody knows who the fuck That's you fair. are. That's fair. That's, That's fair. not what you want. That's fair. Okay. Um, you are dressed up as a flower and your petals are slowly falling off in slow motion. No? Thank you for listening to this episode of Manifest Recordings. <laughs> <laughs> Thus ends my creative stint with Manifest Records. Um, thank you for my supporters. Hey, man, you did great, bro. Taking my talents to... You going to Adriel's podcast? Yeah. You, I'm, go, I'm taking my talents to Adriel's podcast. Bro, don't leave. Dude, that's messed up. That's messed up. He said that he could dress up as a flower and have his petals fall off slowly for me, so... Yeah. You know what's unfortunate is I really was, like, hoping... I was like, yo, we're going to get some content right here. I don't think I'm going to dress up as a flower. It's a cool idea, though, right? It's solid. Thank you. It's solid. For a first on the spot? No, for on Come the spot. On. But like if you saw Gunna in a flower suit and his petals were falling off singing a song. I'd be like, that's my guy. Are, that's my boy right there. Are you sure? Absolutely. That's my boy. All right, shit. Maybe I got to try it then. Who knows? Hey, I guess we'll see. Well, you'll see. I mean, we'll see too. You'll see something. Uh, all right. I'm releasing an extra song, I believe, in June. You heard so, it here first. Hold it to him. Hold I think him it's, to it. It's either June or July. I don't know. But you're getting an extra mm. song in that time period. Extra sauce? No. Shit. It'll come out on the 22nd. Hey, thank you for tuning in. If you were watching and you made it all this way, thank you for watching and making it all this way. Jump in the comments. Retweet. Smash, smash that like button. Oh, gosh. Subscribe. Hit the bell. We are, we are smash that <laughs> like button people now. Make sure you drop a review. That's crazy. All right, hey, hey, and uh, if you're just listening to audio, thank you for listening to audio. Yep. You can also check out the video if you want. You really could. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? That's it. I have to cut so much of that. Thank you for listening to this episode of Manifest Recordings. Make sure to follow us on social media at manifest underscore rec for updates on everything manifest, and I will see you guys in the next one.